looking at this particular racket, I noticed that my bottom cross is going to tie off on the second hole above this outside main, so I'm going to have plenty of room here. If I didn't have plenty of room, if I was tying off right here, which is right next to that outside main, I'd want to make sure that the cross that went into this hole right here, or wherever I'm going to be tying off, went over this main string. Sooner or later you're going to end up where you're tying off your bottom cross and it's going to be tied off on the, on the cross string that is right near that outside main string. What I like to do when I'm doing this is make sure that the cross string goes over the main string that you're looking at right here. That's my anchor string. Then I'm going to tie a Wilson Pro Knot. That way I only have to go under the anchor string one time. Okay, to tie my Wilson Pro Knot, I'm going to form my loop, which is my half hitch. Then I'm going to come back through that loop to tie it off. Then I'm going to pull down the anchor string, a cinch up to take the slack out of the string on the outside of the frame. Then I pull down the anchor string and if there's any slack in there, that knot will slide over that anchor string, then I can slide it back up. Then all I have to do is tighten up my knot and I'm done.